In this video, I'm going to be going over the top 10 best value cards right now in NBA 2K23. My team and what I do mean by a value card or a good value card is going to be for how much MT they go for and how well they do play in game. So a really good example of a top tier value card is going to be this Dark Matter Nikola Jokic. Even though it's only his out of position version, he's still going to be a debatably top five point guard in the game and he's only 25,000 MT. So he's a super cheap card and he plays like a top five card at his position that is extremely good value compared to some other cards that might not even be in their top 10 that go for like hundreds of thousands of mt so these are just going to be the top 10 best value cards in the game at different price points so we'll have some really good budget value cards some expensive value cards and then at different positions as well so the first value card i wanted to talk about and this is also not ranked in order so not i'm not saying Jokic is 10 or 1 it's just going to be one of the 10 value cards. So yeah, Nikola Jokic, like I said, really good for his price. Only about 25,000 MT. He's going to be a 6'11 point guard, 7'3 wingspan. And we know Jokic is still going to be a top tier defender with his size and his player model. He's got a 92 block, 88 steal. 90 perimeter, 94 interior defense. And then he's also going to be fairly quick and athletic, but probably one of the better things about Jokic is the fact that he's six foot 11 at point guard and has these type of animations. He's got such a good jump shot with that Eric Paschkel base. Oscar Robertson upper on very quick timing is still one of my favorite jump shots in the game for a point guard. And then also does have great dribble sigs with the Curry size up, John Ball scape and the Dame behind the back. Also having the quick drops off one and the front clutches as well. So really good at getting to the paints. And like I said, just overall, Nikola Jokic, such, you know, such good value at the point guard position. Next value card I wanted to talk about though is gonna be the Dark Matter Bull Bull. This card, once again, is so good for his price. Seven foot two at small forward, seven foot seven wingspan, and is easily a top five small forward in the game. And you can find Bull Bull for any anywhere from like 60 65 70k depending when you're checking the auction house so that is extremely good value for a card that's seven foot two and a top five card at his position we know bull bull is going to be a great defender 95 block 85 steel 86 perimeter 92 interior defense we know he's got a pretty good jump shot with the bull bull base bull bull upper on very quick timing and then he also moves like a guard he's got the kyle lavi size up the tray escape dame behind the back he's got the quick drops off one and really good defensive tendencies for the block shot and the contest shot both at a 99 so bull bull just brings that size and that defense that a lot of people desperately need at the small four position and i do think he's going to be a top 10 best value card currently in my team now next card i wanted to talk about is going to be this dark matter titan Yao Ming who once again, kind of similar to Bull Bull, is easily a top five center in the game for sure, whether it's his Titans version or whether it's even his Galaxy Opal, such good center cards. And you can actually find this Dark Matter Yao for only like 70K, sometimes a little bit cheaper, sometimes a little bit more. And he's gonna be seven foot six at center, seven foot nine wingspan. We know, we know Yao is still gonna be such a good defender in game with a 97 block, 85 steal, 83 perimeter, 96 interior defense. He might not be the fastest center in the game or the most mobile or agile, but he can still run the floor pretty well, especially if you have a if you do have a good coach or a shoe boost right added to this card like let's say for example you got mark jackson you can get him up you can get him up to a 92 speed with a coach and a shoe boost which really isn't that bad for yao and also a 93 pointer so i'm not really too worried about that he's also got some pretty good hall of fame shooting badges like catch and shoe claymore dead eye green machine guard up and has a very solid jump shot on very quick timing with the robert williams base shea upper on very quick timing and then also that d book size up in the kobe escape so he can move pretty well you know for a center card and i do think yao for his price is one of the best value cards in my team now to talk about some more budget options those were like some mid-level cards maybe a tiny bit on the more expensive side for bull bull and yao ming but anderson verjiao is only going to cost you around 5,000 mt and when i tell you guys he's one of the best budget cards in my team like he is so good for his price six foot eleven at power forward seven foot three wingspan his card stats you know just across the board are amazing great defender 97 block 95 steel 94 perimeter 97 interior defense he's going to be quick and strong he's got a great jump shot probably the probably one of the better things about this card is his jumper he's got the mantras herald base oscar upper on very quick he's got great dribble sigs he moves like a garden game he feels so fast with the ball in his hands he's also got the quick drops off one and the front clutches and then also has perfect defensive tendencies and perfect defense of Hoff. so just all around 
Verjao for his price is absolutely amazing and one of the best budget cards in the game. Now another great budget value card is going to be a Man Thompson only about 12 to 15k somewhere in that price range and he's going to be an amazing budget point guard six foot seven at the one seven foot wingspan and can just do it all for a point guard he's going to be a very solid defender 92 block 98 steel 98 lateral quickness 97 perimeter 93 interior defense tons of great hall of fame badges across the board he's so fast with 99 speed 99 acceleration he moves super well in game uh, well in game and also amazing at getting to the basket and finishing at the rim with a 99 driving dunk and a 99 vertical but then one of my favorite things about this card probably has to be his jump shot the d rose base steph curry upper on very quick is a really fast jump shot easy to time for a point guard he's got the tray fade he's got great dribble sigs and then he also does have the end game dunk packages with the quick drop soft one and the front clutches so he's got the two best safe dunks but then he's also got like the ben simmons the mj the Giannis, the jaw the clyde the vince the shack the zion williamson dunk package so this card's got all of the end game dunk packages and also perfect defensive tendencies. So I mean, for a card only costing you about 12 to 15K, you get such good value at the point guard position with a man Thompson that I do think he's going to be a top 10 value card currently in the game. Now, another great budget option is going to be this Dark Matter T-Mac, only going to cost you like 17 to 20k somewhere in that range maybe even 15,000 mt when he was at his lowest and he's going to be six foot eight at shooting guard seven foot two wingspan if you guys have played since february 24th you guys know all about t-mac and just how good he was and how good he still is at shooting guard with his kpj base and oscar upper on quick timing i still feel like that's the best jump shot in the game on very quick so on his invincible version but it's still being on quick timing is really fast and very easy to green with has pretty good dribble sigs and great dunk packages all around t-mac an absolute beast for only under 20k now talking about some more expensive you know value cards in the game i do think victor Wamp uh, Wembenyama is still really good for his price he might cost you like 90 to 100k but you get a seven foot five power forward eight foot wingspan and an absolute giant you know of a card a guy that can really defend at a high level 93 block 95 perimeter 88 interior defense and he's also got one of the best player models in the game and if you guys have used either if you guys have seen or used or played against either the invincible Vic, uh, victor Wembanyama or the normal dark matter like he just gets crazy animations in game whether it's on offense making every single layup or just getting fouled every single play or whether it's on defense and blocking and contesting shots he just feels like an absolute monster on defense also does have a very solid jump shot and very solid dribble sigs he's got great dunk packages with the quick drops off one and the front clutch front clutches he's still got that tray fade and also almost perfect defensive tendencies with the 85 pass interception 85 on ball steal 98 contest shot and a 98 block shot next valley card though i do think is going to be penny hardaway i think he's great for his price only about 55 to 60k somewhere in that price range he's going to be a six foot seven point guard you know six foot ten wingspan and just an absolute beast that point guard his stats are almost going to be perfect his badge is almost going to be perfect he's got perfect defensive tendencies and i really do like the jump shot they gave this card with the d rose base john wall upper on very quick he moves super fast in game and also does have the quick drops off one and i think penny's just an absolute beast that point guard one of the more underrated and really good value point guards in the game and now to talk about the last two value cards both these guys are going to be fairly expensive but i wanted to include at least in this top 10 at least a couple really expensive but great value cards in the game and that's going to be dark matter and game d rob a card that goes for about like 225 to 275 somewhere in that price range and he's going to be a seven foot one power forward seven foot five wingspan and i really like the end game jump shot on a lefty so the fact that d rob shoots lefty like left-handed i think really helps this card out and yeah he's just going to be an end game so we know perfect stats we know all the perfect badges and tendencies and the same animations but i do think for his price is one of the best value cards and then to round out the top 10 best value cards in my team i do think it's going to be end game kevin durant just because of how good he is at shooting guard and will most likely be one of the best shooting guards in the game for a while once again only going to cost you around 250k but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about my top 10 and let me know some other great value cards in the game you guys will maybe include in this top 10 and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace